That is the most beautiful dress I've ever seen. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 memorable TV wedding dresses. What do you think? Is it okay? It is the most beautiful object I've ever seen. It is like the Anne Perkins of dresses. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most stunning frocks worn by our favorite TV characters. Which dress gave you bridal envy? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, Kate Beckett, Castle. Kate Beckett is a character in a TV drama, which means her wedding won't happen so easily. Castle, I'm married to someone else. And I have no idea where he is. We don't have any leads and to make things worse, the venue and then now this. In the season finale episode of Castle season six, Kate and Rick are scheduled to be wed. Everything seems to be in order. Until it isn't, of course. The dress that Beckett dons is her mother's, and it's a thing of elegant beauty. I must say, your mother had great taste. Yes, she did. <sighs> Look at you. I believe you're the most beautiful bride I have ever seen. It's really a stunning dress. Perfect for a dramatic ending in which Beckett thinks her groom-to-be has been killed in a fiery car crash. Number 19, Robin Shabatsky, How I Met Your Mother. Season 9 of How I Met Your Mother took place over a single weekend, that of Robin and Barney's wedding. So it's safe to say the wedding was long anticipated, if highly unexpected for viewers of the earlier seasons of the show. Kids, I won't lie, that was a long weekend. More ups and downs than I can count. Robin would probably look great in any old frock, but for her wedding, she dons a Monique Lulier gown, a name famously associated with wedding couture. The gown is a mermaid style, with a sheer bolero style sleeve. You've never looked more beautiful, Robin. But he asked you, Patrice. It's simple yet timelessly elegant, and the rhinestone belt and simple jewelry accent the piece perfectly. It's a gown that, despite its simplicity, is worth the season-long wait. And it was legendary. Number 18, Rebecca Donaldson Katsopoulos, Full House. TV weddings were always a big deal in the pre-streaming days, as the build-up was anxiety-inducing even for viewers. Also, kids, we had to run to get a snack during the commercial break and race back so that we didn't miss a thing. Joey, how do you feel right now? Sad, hurt, angry, bitter, scared, used, and I'm pretty hungry, I forgot to eat breakfast. In season four of Full House, Becky and Jesse finally tied the knot. The dress Becky wore, though it now seems perhaps a little dated, was really a thing of awe for 90s folk. The off-shoulder, puff-sleeve, princess-like gown made us all swoon. Darling, I just hope you're all right. But if you are all right, I'll kill you. <laughs> Even that odd-looking, enormous, embellished headdress was cool back then. In an interview with show producer Jeff Franklin, it was revealed that this was actually actress Laurie Loughlin's wedding gown. You may now go on kissing the bride. <laughs> Number 17, Mary Morstan, Sherlock. Fans of Sherlock ignore what ends up happening with this bride. Let's just focus on the wedding and the gown. Uh, just the bride and groom, please. Sherlock, oh, sorry. The secondary characters are often a little buried in the show due to Sherlock's overpowering personality. However, in this episode, Mary Morstan definitely got our attention in this wedding gown. Oh, <laughs> congratulations, you look, um... Very nice. Thanks. John, congratulations. You're a lucky man. It was designed by Jane Borvis, a designer known for her vintage lace style pieces. Mary wears a cat sleeved v neck white gown with a light sepia toned lace overlay and belt. The vintage feel is definitely there, which nicely blends the original source material of the show with the modernized version. Lace was a major Victorian wedding dress staple. Number 16, Rebecca Pearson, This Is Us. This Is Us jumps back and forth in time, and for this dress, we find ourselves in 1976. <laughs> Rebecca wears a beautiful, long-sleeved lace gown reminiscent of the 1960s, complete with flowers in her hair. 
The cut and overall style of the dress was very much in fashion in the 1970s, and actress Mandy Moore pulls it off ever so elegantly. But then Jack started using words like soulmate and forever, and he never really said stuff like that until he met you. The pair marries at the courthouse, which, let's face it, isn't the place for over-the-top princess garb. This dress is perfect for the occasion, and it is simple in the best way. It pairs nicely with the pile of tissues we require when watching this show. You are my great love story. And Jack Pearson. Our story is just getting started. Number 15, Temperance Brennan, Bones. For another long-awaited TV drama hookup in season nine of Bones, Brennan and Booth finally tied the knot. If anyone here has any reasons why these two shouldn't be married, keep it to yourself or get out because this is going to happen. Not all the gowns on our list are greatly adorned and reminiscent of cake toppers, and with Temperance Brennan, no one expected anything elaborate. True to character, Brennan wore a simplistic yet elegant off-shoulder dress with a subtle lace overlay on the bodice. The ultimate simplicity of the gown is matched with the lack of jewellery. But now, we, uh, we don't have to chase each other anymore because we caught each other. Honestly, we're all for this type of dress, as it has a more realistic feel to it, character-wise and real-life-wise. And who needs jewellery when you've got such lovely collarbones? Get it? Bones? You are irrational and impulsive, superstitious and exasperating. Okay, we're done. Number 14, Delilah Fielding McGee, NCIS. NCIS is one of those shows that has been on air for what seems like forever, actually since 2003. So there are bound to be a few weddings in the mix. Hi there. Oh, come on. Sorry, Nick. I didn't mean to steal your thunder. Actually, I'm not sorry. Perhaps the most memorable was that of Timothy McGee and Delilah Fielding, in part due to this amazing wedding gown. The gown has a silky ethereal look, with a deep V neckline ending in a sort of sheer lace modesty panel. Her veil matches the dress nicely, with its beading and lace embellishment. You should smooch. <laughs> Number 13, Whitley Gilbert, A Different World. Let's go back to the 90s once again. In A Different World, Whitley Gilbert is all set to marry Byron, but clearly has stronger feelings for Dwayne. Thankfully, Dwayne interrupts the wedding, and in typical TV fashion, ends up marrying her instead at the same ceremony. You all heard it! You heard it! She said and I do! But to whom? Well, uh... <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Byron. No. Anyway, let's have a look at the super 90s style dress. We'd all expect her to wear something elaborate, and she doesn't disappoint. How's my princess? Fine, Daddy. Mm, I am so proud of you. I haven't done anything for you to be proud of. <laughs> Honestly, we have to say it's a little bit of a gaudy dress, but memorable all the same. Whitley's dress boasts some rather large puff or gigo style sleeves, and so many bodice beads that we're surprised she can maintain her posture. The headpiece is, let's face it, a little unnecessary. The 90s strikes hard on this one. What is going on here? Hi, Ma. <laughs> Number 12, CC Parikh, New Girl. Indian weddings are elaborate, beautiful, colorful affairs. And in New Girl, CC of Indian heritage marries Schmidt, who is Jewish. And just when I thought you couldn't down. make me any happier, Look what you did today. You're amazing. The two combine their traditions to create a wedding that features a bit of both cultures, and the result is perfect. Cece wears a dress designed by costume designer Deborah Maguire. It is a white gown with gold toned jacquard design overlay, topped with a beautiful red trimmed veil. Red being the centuries old Indian wedding color of choice. For the first time, I see what the rest of my life looks like. She looks absolutely stunning, and the look perfectly marries, excuse the pun, American and Indian styles. 
and Schmidt's yarmulke matches her gown perfectly. <laughs> Number 11, Olivia Pope, Scandal. I came here to ask you to marry me. I don't want you to tell me to think about this or give me reasons why you think it's too soon. I want you to say yes. Because if you love me even half as much as I love you, then it was worth the trip. Kerry Washington could probably wear a dress made entirely of discarded paper bags, and she'd still look stunning. In her turn at the altar in Scandal, though it was only an imagined scenario, Olivia Pope wore a dress designed by famed bridal designer Anne Barge. It was a ball gown style, silk and chiffon with off-shoulder cap sleeves. The sweetheart neckline and simple embellishment of the rhinestone belt added exactly what the look needed, and she looked flawless. That sweet morning dew. Who's presenting this woman to be joined in matrimony? I do. Honestly, it looks like it was made specifically for her and no one else. It's a classic look, but still doesn't stop us from letting out a little gasp. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Number 10, Topanga Lawrence, Boy Meets World. We've waited for this moment all our lives. What are you thinking? Anyone who was around and young in the 90s watched Boy Meets World. Remember TGIF? We all secretly hoped Topanga and Corey would tie the knot, but it's safe to say we didn't think we'd see it happen, given their ages at the start of the show. But hey, we got our wish in season 7. I wasn't sure this day would ever come. But you were. I wasn't sure that love could survive everything that we put it through. But you were. You were always strong and always sure. Topanga wore a taffeta and lace ball gown with off-shoulder lace sleeves and some flower embellishments. Honestly, despite its slightly gaudy florals and overly large train, the dress is classic and made all 90s kids jealous. To Corey and Topanga. Corey, Corey and Topanga. Number 9, Laura Spencer, General Hospital. We're going a little further back for this one, to the 1980s. Soap operas were a much bigger deal back then, and soap opera weddings were basically televised events. General Hospital has been going since 1963, and Laura and Luke's nuptials really was an event in 1981. The wedding episode boasted 30 million viewers, which is astoundingly high by today's soap opera standards. Naturally, Laura had to have a stunning frock, so as to not disappoint the masses. What do you say, Mrs. Spencer? Shall we take a quick uh, buzz around the floor with your old man? <laughs> I say I'm hungry. Oh, It'll some wait. things never change, do they? <laughs> she got it from her mother, you know. Oh, really? Come on, wife. <laughs> Laura wore a very white, puff-sleeved gown with long sleeves tapered at the wrist with pearl buttons. The lace-embellished Barbie reminiscent veil topped the look. Sure, it's dated, but the gown was definitely a highlight in the biggest daytime TV wedding of all time. To Luke and Laura, may you always have what you have today, the love of your friends and the everlasting love of each other. Number 8, Christina Yang, Grey's Anatomy. When we say things like, people don't change, it drives scientists crazy. Not all wedding gowns are elaborate. Grey's Anatomy has seen its fair share of weddings in its years on the air. Some featured wedding gown bliss, such as Callie in Arizona's two-gown ceremony, while others remained on the subtle side. In Season 7, Christina and Owen tied the knot in a simple, sweet ceremony. Christina wore a red cocktail dress, featuring a deep V neckline and a very simplistic necklace. You look beautiful. I know. Honestly, actress Sandra Oh doesn't need a big white marshmallow gown. The simplicity of this look is just as elegant as any other wedding attire, and it also perfectly matches Owen's tie, so that's a nice touch. Like at any moment. I do. We can be born all over again. Number 7, Penny Hofstetter. The Big Bang Theory. We're here today to celebrate love. <sighs> when the Big Bang Theory began, we couldn't quite imagine Penny hooking up with any of her neighbours. However, over time, we began to root for Penny and Leonard. 
despite their obvious differences. You know, maybe I don't need to understand it. I just need to be grateful. I love you, Penny. Aww. In their second ceremony, held for family and friends, Penny donned a simple short white dress with a scalloped hem and thickly embroidered overlay. It's a bit of an odd look, perhaps not everyone's bread and butter, but it has a sort of vintage hippie charm, especially with the floral crown hairstyle. Some may prefer her first Vegas wedding look, simple yet also not so much wedding attire. Aw, it was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, not like our wedding beautiful. No, we totally won. <laughs> Number six, Lady Mary Crawley, Downton Abbey. In Downton Abbey, they obviously have no choice but to have vintage styles, as the original series is set between 1912 and 1926. There are a couple of weddings, but honestly, the most memorable is arguably that of Mary and Matthew Crawley. Well, I do, Carson. Very nicely, my lady. Lady Mary wears a simple, modern, for that time, flowing Grecian-inspired frock, with a lower waistline that was fashionable in that era. The dress is historically accurate, as Edwardian gowns were more elaborate, and Downton depicts a movement away from Edwardian and into modern era fashions. You came. To be honest, I wasn't completely sure you would. I'm glad to hear it. I should hate to be predictable. Downton also saw Rose get hitched in a different style, albeit still Grecian inspired. Rose's gown had an empire waistline and revealed a little more skin. She is more promiscuous and daring than Lady Mary in the series. I'm afraid we must have different definitions of the word. Number 5. Charlotte York – Sex and the City Sex and the City was a very fashionable show. Therefore, the less elaborate frocks stood out. Such was the case with Charlotte's wedding gown. Ta-da! <gasps> it's okay? Okay. You're Audrey Hepburn. Oh, it's... In typical TV irony, Charlotte York marries her divorce attorney, Harry Goldenblatt. For the ceremony, she wears a Badgley Mishka gown with a bias cut and lace trim. <laughs> the straps create a sort of cold shoulder look, combined with the off-shoulder style sleeve. The crisscross pattern created on the bodice is a nice subtle touch that sets the gown aside from just a plain bodice. She looks timelessly elegant, and we wouldn't have it any other way. I don't like this, I'm afraid! Now what? What's the worst that can happen? We'll live happily ever after? Number 4. Queen Mary Stuart. Rain. The power of love, a force from Okay, so this dress is stunning, but we will have to nitpick a little in the history department. The dress is reminiscent of Kate Middleton's famous wedding gown, with its lace sleeves and overall flawless look. Mary Stewart looks incredible in this piece. However, it's absolutely not historically accurate. The messenger's news was flawed. No one could blame that on me or you. The shape of the dress and the fabric it is made of were all not happening in the 16th century. We totally understand that this is TV, and it's more memorable for teen fans to see modernly accessible looks. But the history buffs among us know that wedding gowns in the Elizabethan era appeared far larger and more uncomfortable. Everyone else, though, is just too enamoured to notice. And when Number 3. Blair Waldorf – Gossip Girl During its airtime, Gossip Girl was definitely a source for fashion and its latest looks. There were a couple of weddings, namely Serena's with that amazing golden white dream gown, and Blair's first wedding for which she wore a princess style gown and large tiara headpiece. I know, I said once that you would never be as pretty as when you're young, but you get prettier every day. However, once again, simplicity wins for this entry. Blair Waldorf's second wedding, featured in the series finale, saw her donning an Ellie Saab light blue lace gown, and it was unforgettable. Beat, the dress is perfection! Well, a lifelong relationship with Ellie Saab does have its perks. My mother did well. 
Series costume designer Eric Damon said it needed to feel like old world glamour meets contemporary high fashion. This was certainly achieved and was a look slightly more memorable than Serena's showstopper. One word, three letters, yes. And by the power vested in me by the great state of New York, I now pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. Number 2, Rachel Green, Friends. Another series that had a long run, Friends also saw its share of nuptials. They all had their perks, or shall we say, central perks. But one we perhaps remember most is in the pilot episode. I just want to be married again. <laughs> I just want a million dollars! <laughs> Rachel's introduction to the show came in the form of her taking a runner from the altar and arriving at Central Perk Coffee Shop in her wet wedding gown. The gown itself isn't particularly unique. It features a basque or V-shaped waistline, strapless sweetheart with off-shoulder sleeves and, let's face it, an awful veil and headpiece arrangement. Well, maybe that's my decision. <sighs> well, maybe I don't need your money. Wait, wait, I said maybe! <laughs> Monica's dress is much nicer later in the series, to be honest, and the later show budget probably helped. However, this one makes our list for memorable moments sake. Yes, and we're very excited about it. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Claire Fraser – Outlander No lass should wear another woman's dress on her wedding day. Well, that'll do nicely. Outlander's protagonist, Claire Fraser, finds herself in the 18th century, meeting her soulmate in Jamie Fraser. So, with 18th century nuptials come 18th century gowns, and Claire does not disappoint. It was as if I stepped outside on a cloudy day, and suddenly the sun came out. The very full skirt, straight waistline, and stomacher, which is the triangle part of the midsection, are all of the era, and the costume designers for the show clearly did their homework. The gown manages to be elaborate and simple all at once, and Claire wears it beautifully. It doesn't really make us want to wear it, however. That neckline looks painful. I give you my body, but we two may be one. Jeez. My woman. I give you my spirit. Till our life shall be done. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.